Good afternoon, Virgo. It is Monday, October the 23rd, 2023. This reading is for you um, for the partial lunar eclipse that is happening in Taurus on October 28th, 2023. I've already shuffled your cards, so let's jump right in, okay? Gods, goddesses, and different forms of archetypes. What kind of energies and themes will be surrounding Virgo for the partial lunar eclipse on October 28th, 2023? Okay, first card is the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a card that signifies balance. Okay, so we just had um, the solar eclipse in Libra that happened a week ago or so that started off this eclipse season here in October. So we have here this gentleman that is um, utilizing the scales to figure out what he should give his attention to or what he should give his money to, okay, L point literally there. So um, things in your life, like things that are happening out in the world right now, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening in the world. Um, this card may be signifying also, we obviously have to get more cards on this. But what are you giving your attention to? Is it serving you or is it hindering you from reaching your goals that you're trying to reach right now? It's a card of balance. So it's a card of, um, you know, if you're working, make sure that you are also playing. We all know the quote from the movie The Shining, all work and no play make Jack a dull boy, which is very, very true. Okay, we cannot give from an empty cup. And our creativity can be stifled or, you know, our, our, our ability to be productive can be stifled if we um, are not balancing our life out. So eight hours of work um, might not be as productive as um, if you are being distracted by things um, as opposed to one hour of work where you are just focused really hard on that one task that you are um, on trying to undergo, right? So let's get some more cards, but this card is a positive card, um, but it asks you to reflect on what you're giving your energy away to. And if you're getting um, in return, are you being reciprocated by the energy that you put out? Are you getting anything back? Okay. Card number two is the four of cups. Now the four of cups here signify it could signify boredom it could signify depression a little bit perhaps you are waiting for something from the universe or you have been in a stalemate or you have uh, kind of been feeling stuck lately um it could be a card of complacency as well so perhaps a lot of the things that are happening in the world might be affecting you on a mental health level okay this is a cup card so cups signify emotions and intuition it is a watery card so perhaps you have been having some flat emotions lately and um, you know perhaps there is some so, uh, this could be a legal settlement that settlement or perhaps some news regarding some sort of um, decision that needs to be made um, and you've been waiting a long time and becoming complacent and um, you know, where you don't think it's going to come out in your favor. But let's get some more cards here, okay? Um, yeah. So the next card for you is the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is a card of boundaries. And it's a card of sticking it through and knowing that your battle is almost done. This is the, the card of the final battle. He is out on the wall of the fort or whatnot, and he has been wounded. This is a card of the wounded warriors. You see here, he's got a bandage on his head, um, but there is one more battle to be fought. And so he must muster all of the energy and strength that he has within him and fight to fight this last battle. Okay, and this is also a card about if you're trying new projects or starting new things in your life, it's a card about um, throwing things at the wall to see what sticks. So um, 
testing things or playing with different concepts, different ideas that you have, try them out. Um, nothing happens when you don't do anything with the, with your ideas, right? You have to put them into practice. So uh, perhaps utilizing this as an opportunity um, to, to try things out that you've had ideas about, okay? We're going to use another deck now. So that was the regular Rider Waite deck. Now we're going to be using the After Tarot. So this is the Rider Waite deck pretty much, but it's a moment after the image um, or the scenario that is on the Rider Waite, the original Rider Waite deck, okay? So for the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles can also mean a gift from the universe. Um, uh, okay, so let's see here. We have the Hierophant. Okay, not really getting much here with this. So <clears throat> we have the Six of Pentacles paired with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the card that represents the sign of Taurus, so another Earth sign. And this lunar partial lunar eclipse is happening in the sign of Taurus on this tower on the Taurus Scorpio axis, which is about money and big money and finances and the earthly realm, material world. Okay, so it is also a card about leveling up. So whatever you're working on, perhaps it could be either spiritual on a spiritual level, a religious level, or um, with regards to your employment, because we do have the pentacles here. Um, this the Pope here does have three levels to his crown. Okay, there is the the um, the novice on the bottom, the apprentice in the middle, and the master at the top. So this can signify that you are perhaps leveling up in um, areas of your life that we will get some more cards to kind of signify. Okay, um, another uh, way to look at this card is that he's bestowing a blessing on these two individuals here. And like I had said before, um, with the Six of Pentacles, there is, uh, he, he is blessing he is blessing one uh, beggar and not the other um, based on, you know, what he weighs each person's motives um, or heart to be. The There is um, a goddess in Egyptian mythology called Ma'at and she will weigh your heart on the scales like this um, against the feather and if your heart is light as the feather then you can go to the afterlife that you um that you would most likely would like to go to if not then um if your heart is heavier that means that you haven't integrated the lessons um or that you uh were perhaps not a good person in the life before so making sure um, in order to elevate in your consciousness and to become the best version of yourself, make sure that you are leading with a heart that can be weighed that is light as a feather, okay, with good intentions. With the Four of Cups, we have the Page of Cups. So... If we if we pair it with the with this card here, you know this gentleman is complacent. He perhaps is not satisfied with the progress of his life, even though the universe is giving him opportunities all the time. He cannot see those opportunities because he is too engulfed in his own emotions. Well, a lot of the time, when you are depressed, you are, become resentful and you hate everybody because you're jealous of what they have, okay? Um, and you say it's everybody else's fault for how your life is. But this this reading and this eclipse is calling you, telling you that you have the power within yourself to create the life that you want. You're leveling up now. You need to integrate all of the lessons that you have learned in your life. But if you see here the Page of Cups, Okay, on a normal Rider Waite deck, the fish is in the cup, and now the cup, now the fish has jumped out of the cup. Now the fish in the cup signifies something that this page is trying to manifest, and it could also, we don't know if it's real or not when it's in the cup, okay, it could be a product of his imagination, but now he has manifested it, and it has jumped right out of the cup. Now it is real, it is in reality, okay, so utilize 
the powers that you have within you to manifest what you want. You are in charge of your own life and you can co-create with the universe. Like I said, the universe is giving you opportunities all the time and you need to be aware of it. So try to um, align yourself with things that um, are where your energy is being reciprocated back because that can cause a lot of resentment as well. If you're working for a job that doesn't um, reciprocate you with enough money, that you're not making enough money for the work that you do, or in relationships, if you're not getting the much attention or love or um, what you feel impo is important in a relationship, if you're not, if, if you're just giving all the time, or perhaps the other person is giving all the time and you're not being reciprocated there could be some some disruptions there right but um you want to make sure that um things in life that you're being reciprocated for which will open your open your mind up and allow you to elevate in the consciousness where you're not being resentful for things and you 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 knowing that you do have the power to change situations um you, you're not stuck Right. This this card also can signify like a wall being made. He's closing himself off. He has been wounded and he's closing himself off to the world. OK. In his little fort fortress. But if you do that, you're not going to be able to see the opportunities that the universe is trying to give to you. Okay, so coming from a place of resentment and depression and being in a victim mentality isn't going to serve you because you're going to be focused on what you don't have as opposed to what you have already and what you're grateful for. And that will um, only block your ability to see all the opportunities that the universe is trying to give you. <clears throat> okay, and with the nine of wands, we have, yeah, the five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. So perhaps, Virgo, you have been feeling left out in the cold by, did you lose your job? You're not getting the respect that you want at your job. Perhaps a person has left you out in the cold, or you feel like life in general has left you out in the cold, or nothing's worked out for you. And you're closing yourself off to the world, not trusting people. You have been wounded. But there is sanctuary. See these people here? They're sitting outside of a church and the snow is going to kill them. They're going to freeze to death. All they have to do is walk into the church. This lady who doesn't look like she's been starving. She's gotten all she needs and she's leaving and she's going somewhere else and touches taking with what you need is there for the taking. But you need to open your eyes. You, know, you need to open yourself up to what the universe is trying to provide for you. And also don't pay attention. Don't call attention to your weaknesses. These people here are wearing bells around their neck, which um, back in the day when leprosy was more predominant, uh, lepers were forced to wear bells around their neck so they could warn people about the, them being in the area so people can stay away from them. So don't call attention to your weaknesses. Focus on your strengths. Focus on what you have and stop complaining about what you don't have. If you want to manifest things in your life, you need to focus on what you want and talk and talk to yourself from a place of positive wording and not about what you don't have. If you say every day that I don't have money and I can't afford this and I um, never can make my I met, make ends meet, you're going to attract more of that. If you come from a place of gratitude and stay and and meditate every day and for all the things that you're grateful for and all the opportunities that are on their way to you, you will attract more of that. It is a mind frame. It's law of attraction. Okay. Some there's some low vibrational stuff going on in this reading, so we need to get you out of that. Focus on what you have as opposed to what you don't have. Obviously, you feel this way for a reason, right? But does it serve you to live in that vibrational frequency? No, it does not. It only inhibits you from moving forward. For the Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant, we have the Page of Cups again. Page of Cups. 
okay? He is manifesting. He's full. He's training his focus. He's manifesting to that cup. And he's, he's making it happen. He's not the victim. And you have the power in your life to create the life that you want. You're let this, if you do this, you have the ability, this, this eclipse is giving you the ability to level up and boss up, but you need to be mindful of what you're, what you're putting your focus to. Are you putting your focus to lack or are you putting your focus to gratitude and abundance? With the, <coughs> a lot of cups here, we, with the four of cups and the page of cups, we have the queen of cups. Okay, this, this queen only focuses on what gives her fulfillment and happiness. On a normal Rider White deck, she's holding a cup that looks like a trophy. So she will put her whole heart into things that give her fulfillment and that reciprocate those, those same feelings to her. This, this, this um, queen is also quite psychic. And she's very in tune with her emotions. She doesn't let external situations affect her in a way that will take her attention away from the things that she loves to do. So making sure that what you're doing is in alignment with your values and your dreams and it's fulfilling. If you don't like your job, then don't stay there. Obviously, you want to make sure you're not quitting your job and don't have a job to pay your bills. There's a saying that, you know, Buddha, once, you, once he reaches enlightenment, he still has to collect water and clean and, you know, take care of his house. Right? So, but start your process of getting to where you need to go. Start manifesting. Start figuring out what you want to what your fish is that you are going to manifest. It is in alignment with your heart. Yes, she's being grateful for what she has. And she's not being complacent and not missing all the opportunities and the gifts that the universe is trying to give her. This life right now is quite, you know, where the world is with the economy and everything like that. It can be quite easily to be pulled and like all the wars and all of the fear porn that you see on the news. So if that is trying, if that is lowering your vibrational frequency and letting you, making you live in a fear vibe, then you need to get out of that. It's not reciprocating the same energy that, it, that, you're, that you're putting it into the world. It's inhibiting you from becoming who you're supposed to be. Okay. Focusing on the on the on the here and now and what you can change is going to help you than having anxieties about what is going on in the world. Last card. We have the four of coins. Okay, so this card can signify financial stability. So Perhaps you have been feeling like you have had a, not enough money. Okay. There's, if you put your feet into the ground and start focusing on what you're grateful for and start changing your mind frame from a mind frame of lack to a mind frame of abundance and uh, gratitude, um, you, can, you can move this. Uh, you can change your situation around. That you need to be in it from a mind frame. You need to be open and not focusing on the negative in order to see all the signs and all of the opportunities that the, the universe is trying to give you. I'm getting something about a bank as well, approving something. If you've applied, this might only apply to some uh, one or two people, but I'm getting approval from a bank perhaps for business situations. But 
if you do this, if you follow all of these instructions, you will be leveling up and be coming into a phase uh, after this lunar eclipse that it, um, with more financial security. But you have to do the work. You have to meet the, the universe in the middle. And it all starts with your mindset. Okay? Very interesting reading. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on the other side of these eclipse um, in your November readings. Take care.